has experience, you could get both of those. And that, that just seems that it may address the desire to get someone with teaching experience and address the desire to get someone with administrative experience. And, and you, it's just a suggestion, but ultimately the board has to decide what to look for. He's withdrawing that one provision. He would need to get a second for that. I'll second. The amended motion. Okay. Well, we're voting on the motion, the amended motion. The amended motion without the five, last five. Right. We'll call. Uh, No. No. Yes. No. Yes. yes. Um, Mr. Matthew? No. Mr. Mary Weber? Yes. Mr. No. And Mr. Johnson? Yes. that uh, with three to five years teaching experience preferred, uh, three to five years administrative experience preferred or required, uh, master's degree required, doctorate preferred. Got a motion? Second. Motion second for discussion. Three to five teaching, three to five administrative, masters required, doctorate preferred. No, it's a, it's, it, it's a good reason. I'll just hope that at the end of this meeting, we reason out, and i like to see the motion uh, we're about to vote on carry. The community need to see how we as board members that they are paying out very small salary and high working experience uh, time. They need to see how each of us feel about teachers, how we feel about administrators, how we feel about the educational association. We are showing that very clearly tonight that we want less experience for the people who supervise them. We want to work the devil out of them. We want to pay them uh, not enough money. 
we, they come before us and ask us, can you move this to this and we just have a hissing. It's a very sad day to not to have a school system that we are doing what we're doing tonight. And I want that roll call vote for the next vote too, because I want the, the press to care exactly how we run about voting and how we respect teachers. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Yes, Chairman. Yes, they want to go first. Do you want to go first? I just want to get clarity because I heard the word preferred a few times. And I'm just going to make sure that the motion is just so that, that three to five teaching required, three to five administrative. That's why I, mean, I, I did say preferred on that first. Okay, that's why I just wanted to make sure we had understanding. Three to five required. Master's required. The minimum, according to the TSDA, is what a bachelor's right? According to the law in Tennessee, it's about right. back to, that's okay. the minimum requirement to be a right. superintendent. So I, I, you know, if they're going to say three to five, you know, and, and I know what people want, I would prefer to a one with a master's degree and, and doctorate degree. But if this is what TSBA stating and we're adopting this particular policy, then we need to say at least a baccalaureate degree. We need to keep that since that is a matter of policy. You have to have that to get a master's degree. Yeah. So, Chair, yeah, just, I want to make a comment. What, voting on this and, and, and the criteria for the brochure and taking in resumes does not reflect how you feel about teachers. That, I have sat on this board for going on four years, and my main concern has been teachers and students. And I've been beat up over it. And I, and I think a lot of people have, but I, I just want to make sure everybody understands. I already have, I, I already have in my mind the criteria I have for a superintendent when we start looking at resumes. But I just do not <coughs> want to limit the resumes that we received because if we put a five and a five in there and another five and you know another five after that, why not? I just don't want to do that. That is not, but it does not reflect how I feel about teachers. I think teachers are the most, one of the most important parts of our society. They have more impact on our children a lot of times than the parents do for the simple fact they spend eight hours a day with them. I want to take care of our teachers. I always have wanted to take care of our teachers and I always will do my best to take care of the teachers. I just don't want somebody to say one vote reflects how I feel about teachers and I just want to make sure everybody understands. Mr. Chairman. I, I'd like to echo that. It, to me, it's an issue of limiting your pool and to equate that to a slap in the face to the teachers, I think is, I, I can't connect those dots, but I just want to echo what, what, what Kevin said. Well, I want to, Chairman, I want to say, as you see, I voted the first time because I really wanted higher criteria. I second, the second time, because I still feel that we need to put a limit and if we don't have some limit on it then you're really going to get a big pool and not going to get anything so again i do want to have teachers with the approval of what we're doing and i said it in the beginning this is what they're saying we got the surveys we heard from the uh, uh, JMC. So we do need to continue and have a limit. If we don't, then you talking about a strange pool. That's what we're going to get. One quick thing, and it, it piggybacks on Kevin and Jim and Doris now. Looking at the survey from the teacher. The responses we got from the teachers and the people that talked to me that because there wasn't adequate time, um, nowhere on here does it say you've got to have been a teacher for, you should have had classroom experience. There's no time limit. They looked, 
They look for a strong leader. There's no time. Limit. This doesn't reflect how I feel about teachers. You don't ever think that it does. <laughs> but I teach AP. like to see someone with years of experience as a principal and as a teacher, you know, and to this, I, I think I did speak with uh, Mr. Perez concerning that because it was one of the things that a lot of our teachers have stated, you know, not even teachers, but people in our community who like to see years of experience. But I say this, and maybe I shouldn't say it, but I would say it in any when we had our selection, and, and Dr. Ruffin was approved as the next superintendent, her years of qualifications were more than uh, five years of teaching experience, more than five years, you know, as being a principal. You, you know, she had a large, um, should I say, she had an extensive background. And she did, to me, extremely well, you know and working out this district. A lot of people probably didn't like some of the changes, but it comes. Even with the next superintendent, you know, there could be changes, you know. But I say this, if we don't put a limit on something, we're gonna fall for anything, and we're gonna have, just go backwards to me. So to me, there should be a stated time. I have no problem with three to five, but still, I would like to see someone would like the community has stated, administrators have stated, you know, stakeholders have stated, with someone with more than five years experience, five, at least five years or more. And so we did it before, and there's not a reason that why we cannot do it again, you know, and so I don't know, you know, where we are when we have gotten all of this information that we need to move forward for our next superintendent but I do feel like there should be some particular timeline. Um, to piggyback on Mr. Alexander, Mr. Arnold, Mr. Campbell, Ms. Black, um, to say that I don't support teachers, I, I take great offense to that. Um, like I said, my mother is a retired school administrator. My younger brother is a um, a, t a principal in a neighboring district. Um, I, mean, I have four children who spend more time with their school teachers every single day than they spend with me. Um, and they serve as my children's counselors and support as well as my husband and I. So to, to, so to say because I voted down a motion that had a time limit on it says that I don't care about teachers. I, that is absolutely false. Um, I do care about teachers, and again, um, I appreciate Mr. Arnold making his motion, putting some time on there that we do need to have someone running our district that does have experience. Um, but I have met plenty of administrators in this district alone who have less than five years teaching experience and less than five years administrative experience who I feel like would be amazing candidates as superintendent. And so I don't I don't want to limit the pool. I don't. So Mr. Mayweather, you and I are, I guess, gonna agree to disagree, but for the record, I like teachers. I appreciate teachers. Um, I wouldn't be half the mother I am today if it weren't for teachers. Good. Chairman, I see it when I see it. Everybody has an opinion. It's nothing personally involved, it's just my opinion. I oh, yes, it was. I expect every board member on here. But we're number at the end of the day. We're number 137 at 140. <clears throat> Our students are not reading on grade level. This is just ramping up all the problems we do. We have a uh, team of our problems. We just need to go to the end of the Association is not happy. We got more problems than man going to jail. So uh, I just think we need to move on and vote it up. I just think the record needs to reflect those who still look for moving the standards, those who felt 
if the standard is expanded. So that's what we're showing tonight. We're showing that who's going to vote for a standard and vote to move this system into the next 10 or 15 years. And to those who says, let's lower it down so we can have more people applying. And uh, that's what we're going to get. So let's go for it. Well, just, just to have yeah. clarification, just to make sure I understand, because I want to make sure I get, I get it right and what we advertise and everything like that. So we're saying you, the board is saying three to five years of teaching experience required. Minimum. Just to make sure, I'm, three to five years as an administrator required. Master's degree required. Doctorate preferred. Okay. Just want to make sure. That's what I have. I just wanted to, to double check. Uh, uh, I, did, I didn't hear teaching. Teaching and three, three, five, three, five, three to five years five, teaching required as a classroom teacher. To, to clarify, is that what you mean, Ms. Farrell? Classroom teacher. And then three to five years an administrative, administrator or administration. Okay. Required. Roll call vote. Okay, before we vote, uh, I just want to make a uh, statement. Uh, uh, we have voted, I voted uh, uh, my conscience and what I really, I really believe that we need house standards, but I think with this process, uh, we will get those in addition to some of the others. So, uh, and moving along, I call for the vote. Mr. Mr. Chair, yes, I would request a reversal of the vote. Yes, Mr. Alexander. We'll reverse roll call these. I go oh, first. reverse. I'm sorry. Reverse. I didn't hear that. I'm sorry. So I vote yes. <laughs> Mr. Merriweather. No. Mr. Massey. Yes. Ms. Hampton. No. Mr. Campbell. Yes. Ms. Uh, Black. Yes. Mr. Yes. Arnold. Mr. Alexander. Yes. And Mr. Johnson. No. Yes. Yes. And three no's. Motion passed. Okay, so that is the minimum qualifications. Right. Can we also have a vote on adoption of the this this criteria on page twenty one? I move to accept the proposed criteria on page 21. I second. A motion to second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.
and the board should invite them back for a second round of interviews. And after that, hopefully you will find your next superintendent. Now I ask that the board vote on these procedures so these procedures are established now and that everyone is aware of what is going to happen moving forward in that timeline. We have a board vote on number one. Mm -hmm. um, you would recommend the prefer of the five candidates. The other thing is we'll make sure that we see all of You will see, we will give you everything. Every, every application, everyone that applies, you will get those applications. We'll bring back another report with the top up to five people and recommend you adopt those five as your selected interview. But you, yeah, before, we, before we do that, there's someone in, uh, we want to bring up and put clues. If we do that, we do that. The board, so we'll, we'll give you the recommendation and you can, let's say we bring three and you have another individual that you, the board wants to interview. The board can vote to add that individual to the list. The board has that ability. We're bringing you recommended individuals, and it says the board may accept or reject any of the candidates. So you have that ability to, as a board, to add. It says new names may not be submitted by board by individuals, so the board would vote. Okay, we oh, want okay. to. Okay, okay, I was just making sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The board as a body would say, yes, yes, we want to add Mr. Smith or Miss Smith to that list. Ms. Miller, I don't understand that we're closing the floor on adding criteria when we're finished, we're moving on to another item. Is that what we do? <laughs> yeah, we just adopted the criteria. We all just voted on the criteria on page. 21. No, we, voted, we voted on that criteria and yes. we voted on the one that we just added. We did not vote to close the, the motion on any additional criteria. We did not do that. No. So then therefore the floor is still open. For criteria. Yes. Am I correct? If you want to add, we already voted on the current one. The one, that we, the one that we voted on and the one that we added, that's the only criteria we're going to have on the other side. I don't know what we voted on the criteria. Ten. So we voted on the ten. Ten criteria on page three. And. 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 The second round was the proposed criteria from the community responses on page 21. Okay, and I seem to say here about behavior. Well, I, I, would, I would still feel comfortable adding some additional criteria and whether it's voted up or voted down, that must just go with what we presently have. So. If I'm in order, I'd like to add and see if we can get the sucker and move on. But we want to uh, add additional? Yes. We got a, a, a motion? Yes. Okay. Motion is to add an additional. Add the criteria? Yes. Okay. We got a motion? Oh, did you motion? We have a motion to add additional criteria. I think he needs to move what specific criteria he's looking at. Oh. You want to add another one? I second you want me to read the one that I want? I'm, I'm, I'm confused. No, what? what, 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 what <laughs> we just voted right now. The, what we're doing is we're going to add. Yeah, we accepted these criteria. We add more than one. Uh -huh. Okay. Second. Okay. Second. Okay. Second. Okay. You want to add, what do you want to add? A criteria, right? Yes, I want to add additional criteria. And I thought what we were doing was you were sucking the motion that we add, and then once the, the motion fails, we don't add. Motion passed, we do it. Yeah, I, I said, I second it. Yeah, I second it. Yeah, I second it. Order, order. At this point in time, I don't want to add, so I'm going to vote no to this. But if Ms. Merriweather, I don't know what he was thinking over here, so I'm actually be in, in favor of that. So 
but we're getting the cart before the horse here. I think we need to hear his criteria and the motion, and then we can vote on that specific criteria. Because you say we're making a motion to add, well, then you got to add something. And I'm not afraid to vote for that. Okay. That sounds good. Number one, I would like, like to see us add a, a superintendent with turnaround experience with data to prove it. We got to have someone that can turn this system around from us sinking in the public. Number two is someone that has experience in discipline and data to prove it. We have a discipline problem, and I don't see in the criteria that we voted on that it's a priority with us. The teachers are saying we can't teach because of discipline, and we know that. But yet we sit here tonight, we don't even have it in there. I think the teachers will just have a field they with us. Number six, that we need a superintendent that has knowledge of country diversity. We have a population of 75 percent minority, and we need someone that's going to come in and know how to deal with both minorities and, and the New York, all of this is in the district. So those are my three that I would like to see added into the practice. Uh, the uh, I think the diversity part is enough, too, the we already adopted. And yourself. Yeah, it does say culture diversity. Yeah. 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 Number two, I would call the one on that one. I move that we put the first two in there. So you got a motion? Yes, you got the motion. You want to add turnaround experience to prove it. going to be so subjective it's you the subjectivity of no objective thing I, we, we've got to have definite clear cut uh, definition of what you're talking about of the, the data where's it coming from what what is it okay if we're looking for a superintendent who has turnaround experience when I say turnaround experience we have test scores that are we're in the bottom 5%. What has this superintendent been able to do in the district, wherever he worked at? That he has data to prove that he moved the needle from A to B. What is that data? Sir, what is that data? The data would be what he got. I can't tell you what he got. What, what data? Like TCAP scores, TCAP scores, TCAP scores. This is so wild. Yes, it is. Okay. Let him finish. All right. So we're talking about exactly what you're talking about, test scores. When you talk about someone with discipline, I want to hear someone that had success in being able to deal with discipline, who has come in and, and the number of students who've been suspended has come down. Number of students suspended to in school suspended, number of students suspended to the alternative school. If we bring someone in this district, and we just last year, on my, on my motion, outsource the alternative school. Now that we've outsourced the alternative school, this board, and we have not discussed it, this board is going to have to evaluate the ombudsman program in April. That's coming straight from the ombudsman itself. They said, we want to find out what we're working. we got to make preparation. For as I know, I'm the only one on the board that has that experience in order to really truly evaluate an alternative program because I created the program that we're talking about. So we need to sit down, and I have it. I have the actual uh, sample of the evaluation. But we bring a superintendent in, and the superintendent has no experience in discipline, no experience in moving test scores, moving in school suspension, moving T uh, uh, TCAP scores. But what in the world are we doing? Who are we going to get? We're going to have a wide pool. We might as well tell everybody to put their name in the box. We have not done a good job tonight in the community to give us a chance to see it. My, my question is, 
if what if no nobody puts in this been a superintendent? So what no? What if some nobody puts in this been a superintendent? Mm -hmm. What if everybody that puts in just say, for instance, people put it that's never been a superintendent before. They won't have anything, and that's all we have to pick from. We, we, we don't have anybody to pick from because they, they won't have that. That's, I just, I'm going to look at the resume. If I don't see that kind of stuff in it, Okay, I was going to say, I understand what you were saying, but uh, we are, first of all, we are looking for experienced um, superintendents, but someone can prove that they did a turnaround at a school, on school level, because I, I actually, I have the experience of that. I worked in the worst school district in the city and we brought up test scores to, that can be proven and we have uh, all of the mess was happening in that area around the school but once those students were in the school it was the best school in the, in, in the district so you can prove if that person has not been a superintendent he or she has probably been an administrator so that can be shown and proven. Yeah, um, I actually agree with Morris to an extent with this. Um, you can ask, actually Ben, I had a conversation earlier today about this, and I made that statement where I have to have someone who takes discipline seriously and has an understanding of how to correct the trajectory our, our system is on. Uh, I said that to Senator Ed Jackson earlier today, who stopped by the office. Uh, people heard me say that. I believe that we need someone like that. I also believe we need someone with experience to continue the trajectory that we're on. I don't really care if they've done it somewhere else. If they can buy into what we're doing now, I'm a fan. I think what we're doing now is working. And I think the place to determine that is in an interview process and the questions that we ask. And we can ask candidates to bring their data at that point. And data might be apples and oranges, but we can make a determination. Look, the person, that, that he or she that brought this data, I'm impressed by that. I'm impressed with that plan. They're going to steal that plan from this city, whatever, and it's worked there. So I'm going to vote for them because they're going to bring that to Jackson, Tennessee. So once again, to limit it is not is not best for the district. Let's. See, I don't care if we have 50 applicants. I don't care if we look at 50 applications. I don't care about that. But I, in my in my questions, there were more. So I would recommend that be one of your questions that you ask about this one specific and what that candidate's plan for or experience in is with that. And that way we don't limit ourselves to, to who's going to apply and who's not. Let's just take up those kind of questions and those details in the interview process when we have the folks standing in front of us that potentially can get the job. Basically, echo what um, AJ has stated. Um, to your question, uh, Kelvin, basically, if they don't have it, they don't have it. But we look at the next person that is um, basically meets the criteria. So I'm just saying this, you know, if they don't have turnaround, whoever, 50 applicants out of 50, they don't have what we're looking for, we just need to look at the second best of, out of the 50 and just move on from that. It's nothing, you know, too hard. You know, it, this is just a criteria and that's just been added. And so, you know, I think this is a value because we have to see some changes, especially, like they said, in discipline. And then I would like to see someone who has some experience in that particular area. Mr. Chairman, I, I do too. And, and when I look at the resumes that we're given, that's what I'm going to be looking for. But to word it in, I, I just think we're doing ourselves a disservice. I, I, that's just personally how I feel because I already know what I'm looking for. I've been on the board for, like I say, over three years now. I, know, I already know what I'm looking for. I, already, I think I know what the community is looking, is looking for. I believe I know what the teachers are looking for. And... The, to limit the pool, I just don't agree with. It. That's 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 where I've that's where I've stood for over three years now. That's where I'm going to continue to stand, and that's where I stand. And I just I think the more you limit the pool, the less opportunity we get. And I'm just not for it. I I mean I voted for the three to five, even though I didn't want any years on it. Just to be honest, just to compromise. But 
but that's just how I feel. I don't want to limit anything. I want to put what we're looking for in this, in this without any years. If you bring me a bunch of data that says, prove to me that you turned around this school or that school or this district or that district, you know, we'll see that when we're interviewing them and when we're looking at the resumes. That's the whole part of it. it that we're looking for. I, I just, the more we add, the more, I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I just don't want to limit it anymore. I think this speaks for itself. Jen? I do apologize for being late to the conversation. I didn't have to use the restroom. Um, I think that what Kevin said is when we get into the interview process is when we'll be able to ask those questions about where do you stand on student discipline? And honestly, I don't have any experience in that area to ask a question like that, so I would hope, Mr. Merriweather, that you would ask our superintendent at candidates about their experience in reducing suspensions and things like that, because that's not from my bucket of experience. Um, so that's where the nine of us, we're all very diverse in our experiences that we bring to the table, and I think that those kinds of things would flush out in the interview process. Well, that's my opinion. Yeah, that's good. Oh, vote, vote, vote. Mr. Alexander. No. Mr. Arnold. No. Miss Black. Yes. Mr. Campbell. No. Miss Hampton. Yes. Mr. Massey. No. Mr. Merriweather. Yes. Ms. Stewart? No. And Mr. Johnson? No. Chairman Massey, I hope the community statement they do a good look at this. Think about this. We have a district problem in our district. And the majority of it, I hate to say, the majority of that district problem because we have 75% of the population is coming from minorities. The minority voted to address it save those kids from going from the pipeline to the prison. And the non-black uh, board members voted, ah, uh, not a priority, Mr. Memo. It's a sad day in Jackson, Tennessee. And we sit here, this is what we say to the community. And yet, I'm the one that has been said to be the one that created the most hell on the board. Half of the one that's doing the most thinking, too, because we showed it tonight. We voted on racial lines. We do not care about the district problem. We care about widening the pool so we can get several superintendents to come in. We are a sad bunch of people, in my personal opinion. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I think the only thing, if there's any questions on the procedures, I think the last thing to do is just for the board to adopt the procedures. Those are on page, page four. four. I know the procedures I went over just too much. Okay,
All in favor, let's begin by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Next, uh, David, this new hearing authority. We have two DHA appeals. Uh, we need to take those up separately. Uh, as I discussed Monday night, your options tonight is to either grant a hearing. If we do, if you guys do that, then we'll have a date set for that at a later time where you you will hear evidence. Or the other option is that you can either affirm or modify the decision of the DHA and the superintendent without hearing based upon based solely upon the record that's before you. So those are your two options. Uh, the first uh, incident is, I'll just refer to it as the Liberty Tech incident. Uh, and we'll need a motion uh, involving that particular DHA appeal. Can I ask a question before we on, on the first one, mm -hmm. which I, I'm assuming is the Liberty State, yeah, so we'll make that is, is the, the hearing officers made a decision and you, for 180 days, and then you are going to re examine. Yeah, the I already modified it. That's the right modification. That's, 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 uh, that's all the parents. So they, this parent hearing authority is working this 180 days. I have modified that to a different amount of days already. I move that we accept. <coughs> I second. Without a hearing. Without a hearing. Without Correct. Hearing. And I second. Okay. The other motion is second. In discussion? All in favor? Y'all got signed by? Aye. Aye. Mr. Mayor, that's not here. We need to hold the vote. The second DHA appeal is a Northside incident a student. Uh, same, same options on that one. Uh, now on this particular one, I don't think there was a modification by the superintendent. There was, yeah, because you're gonna reevaluate it March 22nd, that's why. Uh, so the same, need a motion on this one, either without a hearing or with a hearing. So, Again, I move that we accept the superintendent without hearing. I second. The motion. Excuse me. Discussion. Are we able to speak? Actually, you have to make that decision on the record without hearing from any, from administration or from the parents. Uh, now, if you want to hear from us, we'll need to, you guys will need to have a motion to grant a hearing. So, you got a motion to set the discussion? All in favor? You know by signing the bye? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Next on the agenda, approval of insurance rates, okay? Uh, yeah, no, no change from, from money.